Hello everyone. Our project title is a smart bus stacking system using NodeMZU with IoT. Team members are G. Gokulraj, B. Jagan, A. Jaygumar, B. Sairaj. And our project supervisor is Mr. B. Sandil Raja, Assistant Professor EZ. And project coordinator is Mr. S. Premukumar, HODF EZ. Let me show our project. Hi everyone. This is the project that we have invented that the topic is a smart bus tracking system using node mc with iot in this project we have two modules this is bus module and this is bus station module first we are going to see the bus module let's open it yeah. in bus module we have connected gps lcd display i2c interface and rf transmitter with node mc in uh, gps we have connected receiver and transmitter to the data pins d1 and d2 then vin and ground to vin and ground then uh, connected I2C interface with the data pins D3 and D4. Then we have connected the RF transmitter with the node MC. We have discussed about uh, bus module. Now this is the bus station module. In bus station module, we have connected the LCD and I2C interface with node MC and then RF receiver with node MC. The LCD I2C interface is connected with the data pins D3 and D4. Then uh, RF receiver is connected with uh, zeros and ones. Let me tell you how the transmitter and receiver was. This is the RF transmitter and this is the RF receiver. If the bus enters the bus stand, then the transmitter sends the signal to the receiver. And it understands the bus is arrived. Then it displays the next bus in the display screen like this. And by using this GPS, we upload the live location of the bus to the Android app. Let me show the Android application. This is the Android application that we have created. First, we have to select the from location. We select it as Chayar. And then we have to select the to location. We select it as R card. To get result, we have to press the get result button. As for the timing of buses in the route, it shows the list of buses. We pick the one of the bus. Then it goes to the Google map. By using the GPS, it shows the current location of the bus as here. And the initial point of the bus is starts from here. And this is our live location of the bus. And this is the destination point of the bus. And this is how our application works. By using this, we can track our buses and their destination and initial points. And that's all it is. Thank you to everyone.